Welcome everybody. We're going to jump right on into this design today. So I'm going to head over to elements and what I'm going to do now is put inside profile. If you have a photo already, just upload it into Canva and then bring it on over. Um, I am going to choose this photo right here. Um, I'm using my pro version for ease today just to remove the background. I'm going to remove the background, but you still can use any of the free background removers to do this. I'm going to flip her, not vertical, horizontal. And then what I want to do is size her the way that I want her uh, to you, her end silhouette kind of to, to be. So I'm going to put her on here like that. And then what I want to do is I want to duplicate the page because I'm going to need more copies of her and I want her to be the right size. So the next thing I want to do is head over to elements and I'm going to grab a square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that square and make it the size of my design. I am going to change the color to make it more contrast between her. And then what I want to do is click out of here, go into position, put it behind her. And then I'm going to grab her with this, with the square. If it doesn't grab, hold your control key and make sure both of these are highlighted. And then I'm going to bring it down. And then I'm going to center it up like so. And then what I want to do is head back over into my element, not my elements, my edit tab, go into duotone, go into custom, go to highlights, make that white, go into shadows, make that white. So she is a white silhouette. And then I want to make sure and check that she, there is no like little blue line here. And if there is, I'm going to move it down. So whatever color you want your background to be, use that as here. So if you want this to be red, you want it to be green, whatever color you want, use that as your color for your background because that will be your background color when you're done. So the next step is going to be to download this as a PNG. I am going to click page one because that's what it is done and download now I'm going to add a page so we can work on it and I am going to bring it over like so and oh, we got step one and if we we're going to hit when it's loaded we're going to hit the background remover and I always test when I do the background with, with, with something like this by putting a color behind it okay that works go back to white okay so now we have part one done and as you can see, we're just going to make that bigger to fill up our space to make sure that it is all in there like oh, we want it. Okay, step one. All right, I'm going to need another copy of her, so I'm going to duplicate this page. So what I want to do now is I am going over to my apps. I'm going into Street enter oh it's not street it's screen sorry screen i'm going to go into screen i'm going to do half tone on this one right here and then i am going to take the half tone scale scale up and then i'm going to take it down just to give her a hint of color on the amount and then i'm going to save that and then whatever color on the third one you want to do, you want to do that in a duotone. So I'm going to hit my edit, go over to my edit, go to duotone. For ease, I am just going to pick, um, I think I just did, I'm going to go funky and go pop. Let's go funky and go pop. And you can just pick your colors for that. So now you have the three photos that you need. Now here's where the fun part comes in. What you want to do is you're going to take this one and bring it up here and you're gonna fit her to your frame And I'm going to check it real quick. And that's not my, that's not my positions tab. I'm going to go back and make sure 
My frame needs to be a little bit bigger on this side. There we go. Now I'm going to fit her to the frame, and then I'm going to go back and bring my duo tone up. I can take that out. Bring my duo tone one up and do the same. They should have fit better. And do the same one with my duo tone one. Now what you want to do is just and she can go out just a smidge more. Hold on. Bump, 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 bump. I'm using my arrow keys to finely tune that. Okay. So now what you want to do in this part, I don't need that page anymore. I don't need that page anymore. So now we just have the one page. Now you can go and go and section those up into sections. If you want to just do our ponytail. And then I'll duplicate that and then bring it back out like so. Line her back up. Maybe we want a little piece here. Duplicate that. Bring that down like... Oh, line it back up. And then maybe we'll do... Bring it down like so. She needs to go this way. And then bring it down like here. And then we'll grab, go into position, grab the half tone one. Let's say we want to do just a piece of her face. Then we can duplicate it, line it back up. And then you can go and do another section somewhere else. So what do you want to do too is change your background color to the color that you used for your for your frame so that way you can start seeing the lines and all in there and you can start working on your line spacing in between here and here let's make this bigger so we can see And bump, 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 bumping is my arrow keys. And now what we want to do, once we got a couple of those in there, what we want to do is go over to elements. And what I did was grab a square frame. And you can start making them in various sizes. And put in, let's go up to elements. Let's go down into recently used because I think it... Just got a bunch of beauty stuff and put it in there. And we're just going to go and start filling those in. We're just going to get a bunch of those and start filling those in. Um, do, 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 do. I don't know if I'm duplicating any of them. I'm trying not to. I don't know. I'm going to start probably putting random stuff in here. Well, watch out too, because I don't know. Canva has this weird thing now where if you put something over top of it and it'll just replace it. It's like, it's, it's, it, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. And then what you want to do is just start placing those in there and layer them around to fill up your space. And you can make these different sizes. And all kinds of stuff. I'm going to just use the same photos for now. Just to fill up stuff. And kind of be cheaty. Cheating y'all. So say I'm going to take that one. And fill it up to here. And I'm just going to do. Lightly. I feel like I need some. need some more photos. Um. They're not the best photos at the moment, but we're just doing it to get the gist. I 
and then you want to make sure you kind of get them spaced the way you want to and then once you have them all in there space oh we got a blank spot down here give me a frame give me a frame duplicate bring it down here let's put something else in there what do i got what do i got uh what is a photo oh you probably can't see anything from it but we're gonna put that down there and put that down there Like here. And then you want everything to kind of line up to make it look like lines. And, you, and you'll do better than I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to do it kind of speedily for you. Because this does take a hot minute to do this kind of design. But you want to make sure everything is kind of filled up. We got this space over here. We're going to duplicate this and bring it this way. Fill out that back piece. And then... Once you think you got it all filled out, I'm going to hit my, hold my shift key down, highlight this one. So all my fold, photos are right there. And then what I want to do is I want to take them all and put them in the back behind my frame. And that's how you do that. So you can put any amount of pictures in there. Um, you might want to do your space in a little bit better than I did um, for the moment. But, and if you need to go in there to, manipulate the space and just go okay i need to move this one down a little bit or something like that you just go over here and click the picture and you can just do that manipulation right there and have your lines going and that's how you kind of do one of those silhouette kind of things this one would hold on position grab no, I don't want that one. I want this one that's right here. I feel like I want another picture in there. Duplicate, duplicate. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got all that we've used before? Well, let's put some glitter up in there. Hit that glitter. Hit that glitter. All right, and then I'm going to go into position, and I'm going to move that back to the bottom. There you go. Give her a little glitter, glitter. Anyway, and that's how you kind of do that style. And um, let's get this brush here and move this in and give her a line there if we want a line there. And her, give her a line there. So you can do that. And another thing that I did too was take one of the originals and you can color her lips, uh, take the red back out. Um, I saw where, you know, some of these were black and white and then you just highlight it. A part of the picture you can do all kinds of stuff with your photos to actually make them even more cooler but that is the basic premise of how to do one of these um, have a blast and if you're on my Facebook please if you do some send them to me because I'd love to see them and that's it y'all easy peasy lemon squeezy up oh, let me fix her hold on I see her I don't have a line there there we go Mucho's better. And like I said, you can do all kinds of stuff with her. You can, if you wanted to, you could just take her face and chop it all up into half tones and different colors and dual tones and different colors and chop her up and, and, and that kind of thing and make it really wickedly cool. You are the designers. Make it, make it wonderful and beautiful. Look, I'm sitting here. Looking like, girl, you need to be doing a little more stuff to this. Let me go. Hold on. Where's that one at? Hold on, hold on. Let's make that one better. All right. Here we go. We're better. I'm, I'm, I'm double checking myself here at the end. But that's the, that's the technique on how to do that. And if you have any problems and you're on Facebook, you know, come on over into my DMs. I'm here for you. But that's that. And I'm glad y'all stopped by. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.